We all know that good software is a crucial component of the overall experience of a smartphone and Oppo knows that too. Within a month of the public release of Android 11, Oppo has already begun rolling out arguably one of its biggest software updates to the lineup of smartphones, ColorOS 11 that's based on Android 11. Why is there a change in the naming scheme that is from ColorOS 7.2 to ColorOS 11 you may ask? That's because Oppo has made their jump in number to match the Android version with the UI version. Oppo is bringing all of the new upgrades of Android 11 along with many unique features and improvements such as Gamer Mode, Hyper Boost 3.2, Battery Guard and loads of customization options. Over the past week, I have been using the ColorOS 11 of the, on the Oppo S17 Pro, discovering and enjoying many of its features. And in this video, let us see the top 11 features of ColorOS 11. Let's begin with one of the biggest updates to ColorOS 11, Customization. ColorOS 7 already offered many customization options, but with the ColorOS 11, it's been taken to the next level. Starting with the home screen, ColorOS will now allow you to customize the home screen layout, widgets, transitions, wallpapers and more, all of which is accessible with just a two finger pinch of the home screen. System wide color schemes can be changed as well and Oppo even gives you three different options now for customizing the color schemes of the dark mode, enhanced, medium and gentle which is indeed great. Continuing with the theme of customizations, the always on display offers load of options. You can choose between various types of clocks to be shown when the phone is clocked, like digital, analog or custom design, each with their own set of options or you can skip showing the clock and simply display a text in the style of your choosing. With all of these customization options, it is so easy to make your phone very personal and truly yours. Moving on, better permission security with Android 11. As ColorOS 11 is based on Android 11, you get all the new improvements to app permissions in the operating system. There's a new option to provide apps with one-time access to certain permissions, like the camera, microphone, location, and there's another feature called Auto Reset Permission, which will reset all of the permissions granted to an app if the app had not been used in a long time. Further, Android 11 also added a new feature called Scope Storage, where apps will be stored in separate containers preventing them from gaining unauthorized access to other user data. These features should give you a better peace of mind knowing that your personal data is protected. Moving on, a cleaner settings page, which is arguably one of the most important places in an Android smartphone as it is where you can control and manage many features in your smartphone. What is more important is the layout in the settings page because that will decide how easily you can find the required settings that you want. Having a messy settings page can cause a lot of frustration, but with ColorOS 11 that is not the case. The settings page closely resembles the one found in stock Android and this will help users quickly find what they need instead of searching through tons and tons of menus and screens. At the end of each settings page, there is also a handy little section that will show you suggestions for other related settings that you may actually want to find, which is indeed great. Moving on. Another feature in ColorOS 11 that can benefit gamers is Oppo's Hyperboost 3.2. The newest version of Hyperboost is focused on optimizing issues surrounding battery drain and overheating. With the new smart resource allocation, Hyperboost 3.0 can give you CPU performance utilization boost of up to 30% while reducing the power consumption by 12%, which results in longer gaming sessions with peak performance. The next highlighting feature is Gamer Mode. One of the most annoying things that can happen to you while gaming is receiving notifications that can take up a significant portion of the screen or accidentally pressing the power button causing you to leave the game at a crucial moment. Gamer mode takes care of all that by blocking incoming calls and messages from instant messaging apps, disabling the power button screen lock, auto screen off, volume buttons and even lock the navigation buttons. This is a mode that is perfect for those gamers who wish to completely immerse themselves in their games without any distractions. Next up, chat notifications and bubbles. Chat notifications from instant messaging apps like WhatsApp, Telegram and Messenger will now show up in a separate section in your notifications flyer. This improves the organization of your notification and you can rest easy knowing that you haven't missed any new chats among a sea of older notifications. But that is not all that's new with chats on ColorOS 11. You can also get the new bubbles feature that will turn your chats into a little floating bubbles which can be moved anywhere around in the screen. It is so easy to keep chatting with your friends and family with these chat bubbles without needing to switch constantly between apps. Moving on, ColorOS 11 introduces UI First 2.0 that combines a lag reducing technology with Quantum Animation Engine 2.0. Further, to reduce the app loading time, 
the AI app preloading, we learn the usage behavior and then preload those apps for users. Apart from this, to improve the fluency of the system, SuperTouch intelligently identifies the key user scenarios and optimizes the touch response speed accordingly. Next up, Three Finger Translate. In our free time during this lockdown, you would have probably given a shot at learning new languages. But what if you come across a text in a language you don't understand? OPPO has got you there too. With its integration with Google Lens Translate, simply access the sidebar or long press the screen with three fingers and select the translate option. Google Lens will automatically read what is on your screen and translate any foreign text into your system language. Next up, Private System. This is a very unique feature that's arriving in ColorOS 11 later in November. What it does is, it will create a clone of your system within the phone storage that is private only to you. You can create copies of your data and apps and they will remain independent of your main system data giving you the ability to create and use a separate phone within the same device. This private space can be protected from unauthorized users by biometrics or pin lock or you can even hide access to it from your main system. This is perfect if you wish to have separate profiles and I am really looking forward to using this feature when it arrives. Moving on to the next interesting feature, OPPO RELAX 2.2. The RELAX app was released by OPPO with ColorOS 7 and now it has a few meaningful updates this time around. The first feature is called Sound Mix and with it you can create your own custom mix of sounds. This can include natural, urban, ASMR and even normal everyday sounds. Finding the perfect white noise mix to help you relax should be easier now. The second feature in the RELAX app is also quite unique. What if you wanted to experience the sounds of a city, but you can't because of the pandemic travel restrictions? With the Relax 2.0 app, you can do just that. The OPPO team literally created soundscape from global cities like Tokyo, Beijing, Bangkok and giving you the experience of what it would sound like in these cities. The 11th interesting feature on ColorOS 11 is Battery Guard. While the battery life on the F17 Pro is already excellent and it also features the 30W VOOC Charge 4.2, there are still unhealthy habits that we sometimes partake in, which is leaving your smartphone charging overnight. Thanks to Battery Guard on ColorOS 11, you don't have to worry about damaging your battery anymore. With it, during the night, the smartphone will charge to only 80% and it will remain there. Right around the time you are expected to wake up, it will charge to 100%, giving you the best battery life in every way possible. So these are some of the top 11 features in ColorOS 11 that I loved using. OPPO has already rolled it out to the Find X2 series, the F17 Pro and the Reno3 series. The Reno4 series will also be getting the update next, followed by the rest of OPPO's lineup of smartphones. Let us know what you think of the new ColorOS 11 from OPPO and list some of your favorite features in the comment section below. That's pretty much for this video guys. Do share this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. This is Manoj Nagendra signing off. Thanks for watching.